at this time of year. We remember people who have made major contributions to our lives. In national terms, we remember those who gave their lives serving in our military forces during the two world wars. We also remember those who have given their lives in the countless conflicts that the UK has been involved in around the world since then, such as in Northern Ireland, the Falklands, Bosnia and the Middle East. Although our war memorials focus on those who have lost their lives, many of the combatants suffered injuries in their body or mind that left them with ongoing impairment that has reduced their abilities and quality of life. Some of those we know or knew personally. I remember my great uncle Horatio, who was gassed in the trenches in World War I and only had one working lung. He lived to a good old age. My uncle Bryce flew in the Air Force in World War II as a bomber navigator, although he was not injured in the conflict. At this time, when we remember, I always remember my grandparents and my dad, who are no longer with us, thanking God for their input to my life and my upbringing. The 12 months of our year are named after ancient legendary figures, some of them named after religious gods. July and August are named after Roman emperors. Some months are just numbered. Many of the days of our week are named after gods too. Such naming helps us to remember the people who are named. That's why we have the war memorials, to help us remember. Diaries, calendars and books also help us to remember people and events. The Bible helps us to remember events from 4,000 to 2,000 years ago. Subsequent books help us to remember more recent events of church history and the works of God in our lives. Later in our service, we will remember some of the key figures in the Bible. As with the more recent people we remember, let us be inspired by them as we go forward in our journey through life.